uh, the, the epistles, the letters, 13 of which Paul wrote, are the most applicable portion of the Bible to believers. You mentioned some of the reasons the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, uh -huh. are true, but uh, I don't believe I've ever heard a good argument for why the letters, particularly Paul's letters, are true and accurate. Yes, uh, well, actually, people are more certain about when Paul wrote his letters than they are about when the Gospels were written. And they're more certain that Paul is the author than they are certain about the Gospels were written. But Paul is... Uh, obviously interpreting much of what happened in the Gospels and the fact that Jesus said the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. That's the reason Jesus came. And Paul just unpacks that mostly in the book of Romans and also in the book of Galatians. And the other books that Paul is writing, well, most of the books Paul is writing, he's writing to churches, as you know, unless he's writing to people like Titus and Timothy and those kind of things. And he's writing, okay, now that Jesus has risen from the dead, now that we know what Christianity is all about, uh, let me flesh out the theology and let's make sure we live the right way. Word for word, uh, the, the epistles, the letters, 13 of which Paul wrote, are the most applicable portion of the Bible to believers because they cover everything that's happened to that point and they're more interpreting what's happened with regard to Christianity. We believe that Paul is telling the truth because we think Paul had a spiritual experience, a supernatural experience on the road to Damascus that turned him around completely from being a persecutor of the church to someone who is someone uh, promoting Christianity to his own detriment personally. And we also think he was able to do miracles as an apostle, which confirmed that he was speaking for God. And Luke, who is an accurate historian, records many of these miracles because, as you know, the story that is uh, the history of the church in the book of Acts from about 30 A.D. to about 62 A.D., that history parallels the times when Paul and other writers are writing their letters. So, for example... Uh, the book of Galatians is written probably around 48, 49 A.D., right after Paul took his first missionary journey uh, when he went to Lystra and Derby and some of these other towns in a, in a country we now call Turkey. So if you read Acts chapter 13 and 14 and then read the book of Galatians, that's about the timeline you're reading. So what's going on historically in Acts, you're getting in the letters that Paul is writing.